In this video, I'll show you how to build a formula that looks for a value in this column and returns the latest date. And to do that, I'm going to build a logical ex expression. So the equal sign and then the lookup value and then equal sign again and then this column and enter this as an array formula hold control and shift and then press enter once and now extend this formula so it has the same size as your values here so click in the formula bar and then press control and shift and press enter once again and now you can see all the values in this array and this array contains boolean values and boolean values are either false or true and you get boolean values from a logical expression like this. So this logical expression compares the value in cell F2 to the values in cell range B3 to B9. And EE is not equal to AA, so it returns false. And this is also false and EE here is equal to EE, so it returns true for that value. Boolean values are great because you can use them in an if function. And this allows us to replace the value in our array with another value. So if this is true, I want it to replace place the boolean value with the, the date here and if the logical expression is false I want it to return a blank and then an ending parenthesis and enter this as an array formula once again and now you can see that it returns values or numbers for on the same row as there are there is a EE and Excel uses numbers to build a date. And I'll show you if I copy the format cell formatting for, for this cell and paste it to these cells here, you will soon see that they are dates and they are the same. And the last thing to do is to use the max function to find the largest number in this array here. So copy this and then go to I'm going to this cell equal sign max parenthesis paste the formula and an ending parenthesis and now enter it as an array formula. And it returns this date because it's the largest date or the last date in this cell range here. Sorry, it returns the last date from this cell here and this and this. And if you want to build a formula that extract the last date and you don't need to enter it as an array formula you can use this formula and I'm not going to explain why the index function works like it does I just want to show you that it works so this equals this And the parenthesis multiplied with this 
and then a comma and an ending parenthesis and a parenthesis again and it's the same date and this you don't need to enter this as an array formula and if you have Excel 2016, you can use the max ifs function. And the first argument is the range. And the second argument is the criteria range. And the third argument is the criteria. And ending parenthesis and press enter only enter and same date so it works